Hello everyone, welcome once again to WTL Wrestling Show that here on the W3L Network. Thank you as always for subscribing, for joining me this week and for just generally supporting the Worldwide Wrestling League. Now over the past few weeks we've seen a rather unusual alliance between the very good Mr. Yoon G. Mackey and Tim Wiley. On Championship Showdown there was of course an impromptu match. Mike Musso took on Yoon G. Mackey and at the end of that Tim Wiley ran in and attacked Mike Musso, giving him a series of swinging net breakers and leaving him lying. Nobody quite knows why these two have formed an alliance, but they clearly have. The following week, of course, Tim Wiley took on Martin Kirby and Mackie was at ringside. Hugh Mackie is going to be in action this week here on Showdown, in just a few moments, in fact. But will Tim Wiley be with him? What is the nature of the relationship? Why are they doing this? Perhaps we'll get some answers as we head to ringside as the very good Mr. Yoon G. Mackey takes on none other than L. Technical. Jenny, this is Drew Fordy's QTM Wrestling Showdown. And we have two of the most colourful men in WCL, certainly in Good Mother of We have the orange clad Scottish luchador L Technical, highly popular fans, as he avoids the charging green and black of the very good Mr. UNG Mackey. Of course, Mackey has been reinstated to WCL just a number of weeks ago. I'm sure if you watch Showdown regularly, you know what's happened here. He appears to have formed an alliance with Tim Wiley, who thankfully isn't at ringside right now. And so, Mackey seems to be at odds, sit with Mike Musso, with WTL in general. This is his first official match back, and he's taking on El Technico and getting set at the ceiling in the process. It's not quite enough to put the weight as of yet. Um, El Technico has not been on Showdown since August of 2016, believe it or not. Uh, when he wrestled with Dewey Legend for the heavyweight title. He was, of course, at Remedy back in February facing Johnny Lyons. This is his first time back on Showdown this year. And of course, he would love to uh, get back in the title picture. Nathan Miller is still out injured, of course. But uh, contenders and challengers to the heavyweight title are indeed stacking up. Mackie's getting control of the rest and um, El Technico's not been around as much as uh, as he has been in the past various events have conspired to keep him out of a WCL ring but he is obviously back and he hasn't missed a step so he sends Mackie flying the back end of that arm drag he's charging again and El Technico's got this one in the bag it looks like Oh, well, just to say that there's a reversal. This is Mackie's first official match back in W3L. I'm sure he doesn't manage to be a loss, although you could say the same for the technical suppose. This crowd firmly supporting the orange clad Luchador. And Mackie throws himself at the rope, and it's just enough to unstabilise the top one. The technical's foot slips, and he crashes heavily down. See, Mackie catches him and slams him. Goes in for a pinfall attempt, could this be it? Not quite yet, obviously. So a couple of weeks ago here on Showdown, uh, we saw the very good Mr. Yuji Mackey at right to with Tim Wiley, who was facing Mark and Kirby, and Mackey interfered liberally in that match. Of course, uh, that was not long since he'd been reinstated. Just last month, actually. We saw the competition he had made. We saw, of course, 
Whaley did flat and missile who has been since. Nice jumping leg lariat. Comes off the ropes and kicks El Technico squarely in the face. The one thing you have to say as he gets in there about Mackie is that he's so fast and his kicks and his strikes are invariably always on point. He's usually really good at these kind of things. His pinpoint accuracy. Obviously it doesn't benefit El Technico in any way, but it does to Mackie. And he's as sharp as ever he was, but he has renewed venom for WCL as he drops a leg right across the throat of El Tenico. It looks like we could end it here. Just the two. He's been so annoyed having been suspended from his company. Of course, he's come out of resolution 10 and he's on showdown in January and a few days and there's a remedy as well. So he's made his presence felt. But just feel the anger and the ire and the hatred that Mackie has for WCL investing in general. And so he gets the chance to tear down one of the most popular stars in WCL, that being El Technico, of course. He just greets Mackie with that forearm smash. And the speed of El Technico, he's not lost a step, I don't think. Oh, Mackie threw himself at him and catch him in that sleeper hold. Well, you see he wraps a leg round as well with a body scissors so it means it's harder for El Tenico to shake him off and Mackie's not the biggest man, the heaviest man but he is certainly, uh, as I say, very cunning very accurate with what he does and he catches El Tenico there he's slowly making him down but this crowd getting far from behind the luchador Mackie on his back Ramming him at the turnbuckle, but it doesn't shake him off. And he's fading. He's dropped to one knee. Mackie holds on to this. We could have a, a match victory here. Possibly the technical pass out. No, look, he's back up. And he drops Mackie down. Probably the best move he could have done. Obviously, it injures Mackie's back somewhat. And these two men have only ever met twice in WCL in the wrestler singles match at Kinghorn back in 2014. Uh, they met in a battle well before 2010, but to all intents and purposes, it's the first time they've properly wrestled in years. So he runs the knee right in the midsection. And a leg drop, and El Tenigo tried to turn and get out of the way. And it hit him across the side of the head. Have done more damage. The problem with the mask, of course, is that if you suffer an injury and you see you get hit in the eyebrow or something that starts to swell up, that mask hinders it because it'll rub against the mask, irritate you further. If you start, heaven forbid, if you start to bleed under that mask, it's just going to be pulled and congeal all over you because it can't escape, it can't run in your face like this. So, who knows what damage that has done to El Technico under the, con under the mask in this contest. So just making that back suplex. I think we were seeing the fact that because El Technico has not been around so much, he's not in the ring shape that he normally is. He's invariably razor sharp and he's still very good right now. But I think maybe there's an edge that he's lost because he's not competing regularly. Both men get back to their feet. Mackie's the first one, but runs into a back elbow. Now he gets a foot to the face. El Tentico might be about to make the words here. And he's bides his time. Waits for Mackie to get in position. And drop kicks him. That's nearly three quarters of the way across the ring he hit him. The agility is still there. The power is still there. And Mackie, I think he just tried to avoid that drop kick. He didn't get hit as cleanly as it may have liked. Now take off the ropes. And launch himself with the tope. Crashes down on the floor. There's no mats here as always in WTL. And the very good Mr. Yunji Mackie gets speared in half by that tope. Now take best off is off to the top rope from the, the turnbuckles. So he can fly through there with the best of them. And it's a beautiful flying body press. This must end it, surely. But Mackie 
still with enough of the tank to kick out. The venom, the, the hate that runs through his veins for this company, for the people in it, for those that are favoured by the fans in WTL, fueling them. Oh, and down goes El Technico, hits with the Z13. But it only nets him two, El Technico still not done yet. Again, he spent a while out of WCL. He's back in a big way. He wants to make sure that he continues his winning ways. He's going for the misty flip. But takes the super kick. Does go down. Oh, he does there. Could be going for the split leg moonsault. And he does. And look, there's Wiley. Tim Wiley, I didn't even think he was here this week on Showdown, but yes he is. Tim Wiley sticking his nose in. And Technicals turned his back to Mackey, rolls him out. He's got a handful of trunks. And it's enough to pin El Technico. What a travesty. Wiley just attacking El Technico. This is just what he did to Musso as well. Jumped him when he wasn't expecting it. What the hell's going on? How? What is this alliance between Mackie and Wiley? What is going on? And look, it's Mike Musso! Nobody's seen Mike Musso since Tim Wiley left him lying on Championship Showdown. But he has returned to W3L and he has chased Tim Wiley and the very good Mr. Yoon G. Mackie. Saving our technical from further damage. Mike Musso has returned and you know he's going to have revenge in his mind. But Wiley and Mackie getting the hell out of there. Referee trying to hold him back. El Technico got cheated out of a victory here. Mackie wins, yes, but it was thanks to Tim Wiley. I'm sure we've not heard the last of this. So there's clearly some kind of alliance between Mackie and Wiley, and I'm sure that spells bad news for many of the W3L roster. El Technico was certainly going to suffer at their hands if it hadn't been for Mike Musso making the save. And speaking of which, Mike Musso is irate. He's not happy about Mackey's actions. He's not happy about being blindsided and attacked by Tim Wilder, particularly as he had to take a few weeks off due to neck injury. But he is back. He has pestered management. And I can reveal to you that next week, Right here on Wrestling Showdown, we will see the merchandise Mike Musso take on Tim Wiley in a singles match. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Because that way you will be notified when that episode goes online and you can watch it and see what happens when Musso gets his hands on Tim Wiley. And I'm sure Musso is going to take the opportunity to have a swing at Mackey should he be there. And perhaps our paths will cross during our live events coming up in the month of May. Remember on Saturday, May the 13th, we're going to be in both Stockton and Harrogate, two shows in the one day. Sunday, May 14th, see us head to Kinghorn. Always an eventful show, that one. The following week, Thursday, May 18th, sees us make our debut up in Oban. Then on Friday the 19th, we go down to Bedlington. And on Saturday, May 20th, we are in both Hexham and Catterick. Again, there's two shows in the one day. Thursday, May 25th, sees us go to Jedburgh. And then Friday, May 26th, we are in Musselburgh. So it's a lot of events all over the place. I'm sure one of them will be within driving distance, perhaps even walking distance if you live in Oban or Hexham. So come along, join us, be part of WCL Live. See what happens. Will Musso face Wiley and Mackey on these live events? Who will be there? You can find it by being there in person. And to do that, go to our website. It's at w3lwrestling.com. You can, of course, use the coupon code SHOWDOWN for 20% off. I say that every week. You probably know it by now. But do it anyway. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter because you will find out what's happening as and when it does. If you want to talk about this show, why wouldn't you? Use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown. Subscribe to this channel, particularly because next week, I think there's going to be chaos. Mike Musso taking on Tim Wiley. What will happen? 
be back here in seven days and find out. I'll see you then.